the Matsugane family and the Mole mountain assault, and the Kamarocho ambitions of the Kyore clan crumble. Betrayed by his inner circle, Hamura becomes a target himself, so he reveals to Yagami the Mole's true identity. He is Kamarocho's organized crime division detective, Kuroiwa. The man who took Matsugane's life falls under the shield of AD9's powerful benefactors. They held his funeral at Tojo Clan headquarters. It was an intimate service. The Matsugane family would have passed to Hamura, but with him missing, it was all but dissolved. It wasn't like he'd made much of an impact on the Tojo brass to begin with. But to Genda-sensei, he was an old friend of over 40 years. And then there was Kaito-san, who joined up after finishing middle school. And Higashi, too. When Kaito got expelled, protecting the boss became his personal mission. All of us knew exactly who was responsible for taking him from us. It was just a matter of finding the proof. Shintani's dead, killed by Ayabe, so they claim. This is the pre-trial conference for that case. Basically, we sit in here and hammer out the flow of the trial. Try to keep things as simple as possible for the jury, you know. According to the law, both the prosecution and the defense have to submit all their evidence before even going to court. You can't burst in mid-trial with new info like they do in the movies. We've been going in circles for a while now. We'll never get anywhere like this. You say that, yes. In other words, we need to make sure all our cards are in order, then show the other side our hand. The rifling marks on the bullet are unshakable proof of guilt. You really want to plead innocent with such a severe disadvantage? How does the defense respond? You can also bargain for a lesser sentence if you so desire. No, we still contend that Detective Ayabe was set up. Our stance remains unchanged. Seriously? So it was Kuroiwa all along. Everything makes sense now. Were there ever any warning signs? Nah. This might have nothing to do with it, but... I heard a story about the guy once. Go on. Back when he was starting out, his boss on the force was working as a Tojo clan go-between on the side. In exchange for kickbacks and whores, of course. Kind of shit you see every day in Kamarocho. But one day, that boss went and threw himself off a roof. Right when they were gonna haul him in, too. Guess some goody two-shoes on the force went and ratted him out. One of his own co-workers? Was it Kuroiwa? No. Funny enough, they found the snitch with a noose around his neck just a day later. So it was a double suicide? What the hell? From what I've heard, it's possible that hanging was actually a homicide. Maybe. Just maybe. Someone wanted revenge on the snitch. After the dust cleared, a new dirty cop had risen from the ashes. With his boss's connections and then some. He's been in bed with the Yakuza ever since. Turns out this guy's our top detective, too. And you're saying that's Kuroiwa? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard. You're the one who asked about warning signs.
Let's split up, Oshinokun. Sticking with me is just gonna put you in more danger. Come on, I'll be fine. I'm not a little kid. I know that. Either way, we're done for today. Oh, okay then. I'll see you around, Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Hattori? Someone's got eyes on your place. Smells like it does when a journalist stakes out a shoot. How can you tell? Eh, I have a nose for these things. So? What do you want? Not me. Chairman Kajihira. He needs to know what's up with your investigation. Honmarwen's burnt to a crisp. Shiyasan's dead. The chairman is very interested to know what happened. No surprise there. <laughs> nice work. A police detective cum serial murderer. If you're telling the truth, there's a trail of death following 89 every step of the way. It all leads back to the human experiments. Patient Shono killed Wakusan, Emi Terasawa, Hashki from the ADDC, Shintani, every single one of them. Maybe so, but without evidence, this is nothing more than a well-crafted hypothesis. Believe me, I know that already. All right, I've heard what you have to say, but Chairman Kajihira still wants to meet with you. I just told you everything I know. Then you can tell it to him, too. I'm little more than a messenger, after all. And if I refuse? Listen, Yagami-san. Chairman Kajihira isn't your enemy. He may even have details you wouldn't otherwise be privy to. I suggest you milk that for what it's worth. Oh, and put a good word in for me, huh? If you don't mind. <laughs> Are you free to meet now? You'll need to bring Kaito-san too, of course. It seems his bullet wound is almost fully healed. You really do know everything. What can I say? Comes with the job. Anyway, grab Kaito-san and head to Kikunoya. Kikunoya? I hear Patriarch Matsugane loved the place. Coincidentally, so does the chairman. Goodbye, Yagami-san. Yo, I'm gonna make some coffee. You want a cup? Hey, hey, aren't you supposed to be recovering? Eh, uh, it's fine. Come on, drink with me. Well, if you say so. And by the way, Hattori just dropped by. The journalist? Yeah, apparently Chairman Kajihira is asking for us. What I hear? Kajihira's in a pretty tough spot right now. Hmm? Chairman Koba from the Kyorei clan's putting the pressure on. I mean, their Captain Shioya just got his eyes gouged out. Never would have happened if Kajihira hadn't shipped him up to Kamurocho. Yeah, I guess so. First, a couple of their rookies die in Kamurocho. Then a captain turns up dead. Chairman Koba's probably freaking the fuck out. Guess Kajihira's calling us to fix it then? Dunno. We'll find out when we get there. We? I'm sick of sitting around watching Kuroiwa, man. We're not getting anywhere with this shit. It's time we try something new. Hell, I'll do whatever it takes to avenge Matsugane-san. Damn right. Let's roll, talk. We going to Kikunoya? All right. Out of the way! <laughs> 
Stay down. Let's go. Where are you going? So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. Long time no see. It's truly horrible what happened to Matsugani-san. Yes. To his memory. Chairman Kajihira. I assume you've already heard about 89? Yes. Hattori-san told me everything. The incident three years ago was a human experiment gone awry, huh? I'm impressed you figured that out. <laughs> Quite impressed. I heard about Shinpei Okubo, too. The murder you let loose upon the world didn't actually kill anyone. Yeah. Emmy died at the hands of Shono, the 89 researcher. I'm not so sure about that. Do you have any proof? No? If I did, I'd be making you eat those words. Come now. No fighting. My old heart can't handle the stress. Hold on a sec. If you already know what's going on, why'd you go and call us out here? What do you really want? <laughs> You're sharper than you look. To be honest, I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Oh, yeah? The curé, Chairman Koba, has been getting on my case. He wants me to put a button on all this murder business. Not that I can blame him. His successor just had his eyes gouged out after all. What's your point? I want you to bring an end to these killings. That detective, Karoiwa, is behind it all, right? What do you take us for, assassins? I have confidence that the two of you can do what I ask. What do you say? I'll give you a handsome reward. Yeah, I think we'll be going now. All right, all right. It was a joke. Though the Curé clan has been getting on my case. So you were half joking? <sighs> The real reason I called the two of you here was to say thanks in Hashki's place. Hmm? It must be frustrating for him to look down on this world just to see people say he died in a drunken brawl. But you saw through that false narrative. Once we have proof and crush AD9 for good, he'll finally be avenged. And you'll finally make good on your hundred billion yen investment. Not that I care either way. <laughs> so, Yagami-san, what comes next? Well, Ayabe's trial is coming up, right? We'll use that stage to bring the real crimes into the spotlight. That'll also mean lifting the veil on 89. Hmm. Okubo will be in the clear, too. Interesting. I think you're still missing some evidence, though. You're not wrong. We don't know where Hamra is, either. Well then, what now? I'm gonna keep going after Kuroiwa. Stay on his tail till I get a solid lead. You may be waiting a long time, then. He's not the type of man to slip up. I know. It'll take some time for sure. There's no other way. I'm not sure you have the time you think you do. What do you mean? It won't be long until Shinpei Okubo is executed. What? So say my connections, at least. There's a top secret list stating which death row inmates are potential execution candidates for the near future. 
Apparently, Okubo is on that list. Once the Minister of Justice rubber stamps the execution, it's over. What? But why? Someone must have pressured the Ministry to put Okubo on the list. Damn it. If I don't do something soon, I'm gonna lose my chance forever. If it were me, I'd try going after an easier target than Kuroiwa. And who would that be? Look, this is an article of mine that got scrapped. Kido-san? Really? His womanizing ways are actually pretty well known. Guess he's really cut loose since they announced 89. Underneath the lab coat, he's nothing but a shameless pervert. If anything, he's the one you should be going after. No way am I getting into the ADDC, though. Not now. Well, then you'll just have to lure him out. That's the only way to get a cautious quarry to leave its nest. And how are we gonna do that? Offer him a delicious meal. For Keto, that would be... A woman. A beautiful one, ideally. A woman? A woman? Well, that was the last place I expected to get any good advice. Yeah, he had a point though. Keto might be our best bet for evidence. Evidence that could reveal the truth about 89. We're gonna have to drag him out of the ADDC first. Hattori suggested seducing him to Kamrocha. A honey trap, huh? I guess it's time for Salri san to do her thing again. <sighs> yeah. I'll ask her tomorrow. Well, I'm all out of gas for tonight. See you tomorrow, man. Really, guys? Oh, Yagami san. Sorry, son. Yes? I have another favor I want to ask you. Oh? Think you can handle it? Tell me what it is. You sure? Yes. All right, then. We need you to set a honey trap for Keto. A what? It's when you seduce a man to get information. And you're sure you want me? How could you ask her to do that? You can't be serious. Look, we need to get to Kido somehow. This is the best shot we have of luring him into Kamrocho. Don't be ridiculous. Asking her to be a hostess is one thing, but you can't make her sleep with that creep. Hold on there, Hoshino-kun. Isn't that what a honey trap is? I never said that. You don't have to listen to them, salary san I mean, just talking about this is practically entrapment. Not to be rude, but I asked salary san not you. Why do you care so much anyway? Because I care about her! Oh? You... what? Uh, no, I... I... I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for her as a co-worker. Well, that's enough of that. 
Yagami, you sure there'll be no risk to Saurikun? Absolutely. I have a plan. Which is what, exactly? I'll tell you once we get there. First, I need to know if you're in. It's what the investigation calls for. Sorry, son. I want to avenge Shitani Sensei's death, too. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Then we don't have time to lose. We? Since when was it we? If this is really what Saori-san wants, I'll do everything in my power to help her. Uh-huh. Oh, we'll need another makeover, right? I'll go this time. Mind if we use the same salon? Sure, but I was thinking she'd be a journalist this time, not a hostess. A journalist? Really? Think about it. Your mark is inside the ADDC, right? You'll be able to get him alone much more naturally if you go in asking for an interview. Uh huh. And you'll need to dress the part. I'm talking high skirts and low cuts. That'll bring out the worst in any old lech. Now we're talking. I'll take that over a hostess any day. <clears throat> okay. I have some things I need to take care of. Can you head to the ADDC once you're done with your makeup, Sarisan? We'll meet there. Okay. See you soon. We should be going too, Sarisan. Let's get you that makeover. Right. Here we are, Sarisan. Hair Salon Cherry. I'm honestly a little nervous. Didn't I already do this when I was a hostess? Sure, but everything's different this time. Sorry, son, the journalist. An intellectual beauty. Classy, worldly. Oh, what guy wouldn't fall for that? Don't give me that look. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stare. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be stunning no matter how much makeup you wear. And if I disappoint you? Well, that's just not possible. I hope you're right. You're a goddess, Salrisan. Just incredible. That off-limits allure, that mature aura. Are you going to stop soon? Sorry. I just... I got a little excited. Well, I'm ready to go. I can take it from here. So independent, too. Oh, sorry. I'll stop now. Well? Salrisan. Uh... Hmm? Don't push yourself, okay? If things get dangerous, just run. Yagami-san said I'll be safe, though. Well, yeah, your life might not be in danger, but what if Kido tries to, you know, top a feel or something? If that's what needs to happen, that's what will happen. What? But... I should be going. Sorry, son. By the way, Hoshino-kun. Yeah? Thank you for complimenting my makeup. It felt... nice. What? Hold on, sorry, son. Take this with you. It's a hidden camera. A what? See, this is the lens. Any footage it takes will get sent to my phone in real time. Here, wear this earpiece too. 
I'll give you some conversation pointers while you're in there. Oh? Yeah. This time you'll need to be seductive with the words you say, not just your looks. So... You're going to give me tips, Yagami-san? I'd appreciate that. Wait, really? Of course. Knowing how to woo a man isn't exactly my specialty. Also, what happens after I seduce him? Once Kido starts coming on to you, we'll catch it all on the camera. Meaning there will be evidence of his sexual harassment? Yeah. Your job will be done at that point. All we'll need to do after that is use the footage to lure him to Kamurocho. Blackmailing, hmm? Think you can handle it? Don't worry. The more perverted things Kido does, the more he'll suffer later. Yeah, I guess. I'd rather keep his hands off of me as much as possible, though. That'll be on you and your direction, Yagami-san. Right. Anyway, you should head in. Can you hear me, Sari-san? First, you're gonna want to go to the reception desk. Ask the lady there if you can interview Kido. Just make something up about wanting more details on 89. Sounds good. Welcome, ma'am. Do you have an appointment? No. I was wondering if Director Kido would be available for an interview. And you are? A freelance journalist by the name of Shirasaki. I wanted to speak with him about 89. I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. I can't let you in without an appointment. Oh, I see. In that case, um... Don't be afraid to press the issue, Sari-san. I, um... Director Kido is a very busy man. I'm sure you understand. It won't take long, I assure you. And I can wait if need be. Even so... Please, can I at least see Kido-san and ask him myself? I'm sorry, ma'am. We decline all requests without a prior appointment. Oh, I think I could make an exception for such a pretty girl. Huh? I'm Kido, the director of this center. I hear you want to interview me. Ah, uh, yes. My name is Shirosaki. Shirosaki-san, hmm? Come, I'll show you to my office. A beautiful woman like yourself deserves VIP treatment. Are you sure, sir? Thank you very much. Ugh, Kido-san. So he's not even trying to hide it. Not that I'm complaining. Please, come in. Wow, this is your office? It's... Breathtaking. I love how spacious it is. Oh, <laughs> no need to flatter me, though I do get quite a few compliments. Please, take a seat. Sorry, son. Put the camera on the table. You really must excuse me. I should have made an appointment instead of just showing up on your doorstep. Move it a little to the right, about 15 degrees. Perfect. Would you care for a drink, Shirosaki-san? Maybe a glass of brandy? There's one I found recently that's truly top shelf. Well, sure. I'll have some. It's a special occasion, after all. Here you are. I think I'm going to enjoy this interview. Good job, Sari-san. Keep it up. To a wonderful interview. Yes, to the interview. Mmm, it's incredible. Really warms you up deep in your core, right? Yes. Undo another button, sorry, son. Huh? Is something the matter? Oh, um... No, it's just getting a little toasty in here. Well, uh, <clears throat> yes, I am feeling warmer. Good going. He's taking the bait. Now then, <clears throat> what is this interview about?
I want to know every little detail about you. <laughs> You're not here to discuss 89? You're more interesting than some stuffy old drug. I see. This is better than I was expecting. So, will you tell me, big boy? Well, there's a lot I could say. I, <laughs> I'm just not sure I should say it here. Huh? But it's just the two of us. You can do whatever you want. Oh, you're even more aggressive than I expected. <laughs> not yet. Work comes first. <laughs> yes, I uh, suppose the real fun can wait until later. Well played, sorry, son. Now then. Uh, where were we? You should get this over with as quick as possible. Make your move, sorry, son. Hmm. In that case. getting so steamy in here, don't you think? Yes. Yes, I'm burning up. I totally agree with you. Huh? Wait, sorry, son. Are you really gonna keep going? Ah, <sighs> that's better. Oh. Sorry, son. It's, uh, kind of seems like you're enjoying this. Ah, <sighs> he's the worst. How's this? Just wonderful. I think that's enough photos for now. Alright, sorry, son. You're good. Wrap it up. How did they turn out? Oh, do you want to... Ah! You're right in the frame. This is a perfect backup. Stay strong, sorry, son. Made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Well, um. How about dinner tonight? That's perfect. Draw them out. Okay, let's do it in Camarocho. Camarocho? Um, how about somewhere else? I I'd rather stay close by. Oh, I think I can convince you. Hmm. How so? You'll see. Is it just me? Or did sorry san start getting weirdly into that whole thing at some point? Yeah, she was, uh... It's kind of scaring me towards the end. Anyway, you think Kido's actually gonna show? He'd be a fool not to. I just sent him the footage under sorry sans name. Said we'd put it online if he didn't show. <laughs> Guess he doesn't have a choice then. Where'd you tell him to go? The batting center. Sugira and Higashi went ahead to keep an eye on the place. What's gotten into you, man? I don't know if I've ever seen you this organized. I can't afford to take my time with this. Okubo-kun's execution date is coming up fast. Yeah, good point. Come on, we should go. Let's hit it. Sugira. Hey, what's up? I'm bringing the van around. You see me? Hmm?
There he is. Welcome aboard. Where's Higashi? Already inside. I haven't noticed anything weird out here. Kido should be showing up any minute. And what happens when he does? We'll shove him in the van and drag him over to Charles. What? Higashi's arcade? It's not like we had a lot of time to think about it. We'll interrogate him once we get there. Right, Yagami-san? Yep. And speak of the devil. Surprised he actually showed. All right, let's move out. <gasps> what are you doing here? Not sure what you mean. My agency is just a couple blocks away. It's strange to see you here, though. What brings you out to Kamrocho? <laughs> well, I... Maybe meeting a seductive journalist? I understand now. You're the ones behind all this. What will you do with that video? Nothing. If you give us what we want. What is it, money? No, we're after something else entirely. What are you going to do to me? We're just taking you for a little trip. No. No, I'm afraid you're not. Hmm? You forget. I'm a powerful man. Huh. Who are these assholes? Health Ministry thugs, if I had to guess. Huh. Do they have them all over the city or something? Delete that video, Yagami! Stay back! Don't come any closer! <laughs> Look where all that power got you. Nobody's running to help now. Not the ADDC, not the Ministry of Health. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. If you kill me, think what will happen to 89. Their research will come to a screeching halt! <laughs> Don't worry. Nobody's killing anybody. But I suggest you learn a little humility. I never said I wouldn't hurt you. Come on. We're out of here. Man, it's been a while since I did something like this. Feels good getting back in the groove, you know? <laughs> you always did have a habit of stripping them down. Well, yeah. Everyone's the same underneath all this bullshit. Scientist, doctor, whatever. Listen here. It's not too late for you. But if you don't release me... You'll have your assassin hunt us down? I'll take extensive legal action against you. Huh, who knows what'd happen if you did that. I might accidentally let that video loose to the press. <laughs> what? If that doesn't sound good to you, start talking. 
You're gonna tell us everything you know about 89. Why me? What do you people want? Who are those guys at the batting center? Well, I... <laughs> you mentioned how powerful you are. Did you hire them to protect you? <sighs> Out with it already. Quit acting like you got any goddamn dignity. You've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Who would have thought the scientist who was gonna save the world would have turned out to be some pervy asshole? Your name's gonna go down in history if this gets out. And not how you're hoping. Stop. I'm begging you, please! Who were those thugs at the batting center? Hitmen. On the Ministry of Health payroll. Ichinose's payroll, in other words. That's right. I think you mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ichinose-san knows I've been abducted. More of them could rush in here any minute if you don't release me. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, we've got this whole fighting thing pretty down by now. <sighs> Next question. It's about what happened three years ago. <laughs> huh? An Alzheimer's patient at the ADDC by the name of Wakusan was murdered. His body found buried far out in the mountains. At the time, Shinpei Okubo was thought to be the killer. But the truth is, it was an unforeseen consequence of 89, which Shono had administered to this Wakusan. You knew, didn't you? What? Cat got your tongue? Guess you're about to become internet famous then. <laughs> Wait! Answer me, Kido! Yes! I knew. Who told you? When? How? I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. If I did, I... Please, just give me some time to figure things out. Time's one thing I don't have. Shinpei Okubo's about to get executed for a murder he didn't commit. What? I need to get every last bit of information out of you right here. I'll even resort to torture if I have to. Torture? You'd break the law over this? What? That doesn't sound fun to you? Of course not! Then start talking! <laughs> Nobody's gonna come help you now. I'll give you a chance to think it over. You better be ready by the time I come back. Kido's already a broken man. My guess? At this point, he's just desperate to save his own skin. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you should take a breather. I'm sure giving Kido some time to stool will make him realize talking's the only option. We'll keep an eye on him in the meantime. Thanks, Sukiura. I appreciate it. Hey, even a guy like you needs to take breaks. You've been up and out all freaking day. Good to go, Yagami-san? Kido's had enough time to think. Ready to talk yet? We're waiting. <laughs> yes. Three years ago, Shono killed a patient by experimenting on him with 89. When did you find out? Right after the press conference. The one where we announced 89 to the world. Shono told me himself. 
Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. Even after all this time. I have some concerns about 89. At the moment, it's only effective on mice. I'm well aware of that, yes. But I'm confident it will work on humans, too. No. I'm afraid you're mistaken. What's this now? We just had a fantastic conference. This is no time for doom and gloom. Just sit back and try to relax. You deserve it. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, Ichinose was thrilled with what he saw. One day we're almost getting shut down, the next we have a massive budget. And if you can make consistent progress, AD-9 will head to clinical... At this stage, I'm afraid clinical trials would be inadvisable. If we try, all the test subjects will die. Are you sure? How can you say that with such confidence, huh? Shinpei Okubo was actually innocent. What? Innocent? Why are you bringing this up now? The court ruled correctly. Waku-san, his murder didn't play out like you think it did. The real cause of death was none other than 89. What do you mean? That murder was... It was a secret clinical trial for 89. I gave him the injection personally. <gasps> you did what? Please, I... I had to take this opportunity. The whole world is waiting for this cure. But when I injected him, he let out the most horrible scream. These hands covered his mouth. I tried to make him shut up. Which means you... You're a murderer. <laughs> How could you be such a damn fool? What are we going to do? Shono, I just spent the entire afternoon talking up your drug to the press! With my goddamn name on the research! If you hadn't held that press conference, the ADDC would have been done for and you- Why didn't you tell me this before? I needed you, Dr. Kido. I couldn't let the center get shut down. The AD-9 project would have been terminated. But you know... This has been my entire life's work, ensuring that AD-9 would save the world. <sighs> this whole thing is preposterous. I'm going to the press! There's no need for that. Huh? Don't you understand, Director? As long as we finish AD-9's development, there won't be any issues. Your name will go down in history as the man who saved the world. Not to mention the money. But if you really insist on revealing the truth, both of our careers would go down the drain. And you have more to lose, Director. Shono, you're mad. Is that all Shono told you? There's gotta be more. <laughs> Wakusan wasn't the only person Shono killed, was he? No. He needed Shinpei Okubo to take the fall. And murdered Emi Terasawa to accomplish that. So you did know! Hey! <laughs> Save it, Sugira. We're not done yet. What happened next, after Shono killed Emi? Don't you already know? You had Hashki murdered. I didn't! It wasn't me! Hashki was digging around, 
trying to find something wrong with 89. You and Shono didn't like that too much. But you needed some help to take care of him. Someone else who wanted to protect 89. That person was... Ichinose, from the Ministry of Health. <gasps> the guy who founded the ADDC made it a place all the old guard ministry execs could retire to. Yes. Shono and I went to Ichinose-san and pleaded with him to help us. After all, he's known for being well-versed in political matters, both above board and otherwise. So, we told him everything. About Wakusan dying in the experiment, about Emi Terasawa. Every last detail. Without hesitation, Ichinose-san agreed to help us with the cover-up. According to him, protecting AD-9 was top priority. Hence why he decided to silence Hashki. Ichinose-san knew he was Kajihira's spy from the start, and acted accordingly. Meaning he's the one who first dragged Hamura and Kuroi away for this bullshit. Real barrel of fucking monkeys. With Hashki out of the way, all that was left for us to do was complete 89. But we realized something. If we entered clinical trials and another patient died, our dream, too, would be dead. The ADDC would be no more. And all our sacrifices would have been for nothing. Your sacrifices? How can you say that with a straight face? You're not the ones who died for some bullshit drug! <laughs> Go on. Through all my hesitation, Shono kept pushing, aggressive to a damn fault. He said we couldn't be afraid of failure if we really wanted to finish 89. That we needed to keep experimenting until we succeeded. He also said the only way to speed up development was to keep conducting clinical trials in secret. Shono was adamant about that. Why? Think about it. If we could hide the fact that our subjects were dying, we could continue experimenting despite the risks. In order to do so, we needed a way to quickly procure and discard test subjects. With that, it would only be a matter of time until AD-9 was complete. And those test subjects were the Kyori clan men. Ichinose-san listened to every single one of Shono's requests. My only role in all of this was obtaining the funds required. And so, money flowed into the ADDC from the Ministry of Health. Money which I gave to Shono, allowing him to build a secret lab in Kamurocho. A... Uh, what? It's where he carries out all of his human experiments. Huh? Where exactly is this lab? I'm not sure of the specific location. I try not to come between Shono and Ichinose-san unless absolutely necessary. So that lab is where all the killings happen, where those Kyori guys were slaughtered. If anywhere's gonna have evidence, it's there. You sure you don't know where it is? Detective Kuroyo, I would, of course. He's not as talkative as you, though. In that case... There was another person involved in setting up the lab. Who? A subordinate of Ichinose-san. I believe his name was... Ishimatsu. I've heard that name before. He was the middleman between Hamura and Shono. Where's this Ishimatsu guy? In Kamurocho. 
There's a Ministry of Health office up in the Millennium Tower. Apparently, he'll be in tonight. Wait, the Millennium Tower? That's where they oversee Shono's secret lab. Nobody knows the office is there. The sign out front even has a different name. They really got a place like that? Well, Ishimatsu knows where the lab is, yeah? This'll be easy. <laughs> Just gotta strip him down and force him to talk. Hold up. I've got a better idea. Hmm? First, we give this Ichimatsu guy some kind of reason to go to the lab. Then we just follow him from the Millennium Tower. Not bad. Ishimatsu himself will lead us straight there. But how are we gonna get him to go? Well, we'll, uh... We'll get our buddy Kido here to give him a call. Huh? Say something about how we're closing in on the lab. Tell him you need him over there to stand guard. You know, that might just work. And what? You think I'll just agree to this? You better. If you don't want to spread in your little video, that is. <sighs> that settles it then. What does Ishimatsu look like? Uh, he's in his 50s. Always wears a gray suit. A sh short man. Not that much over five feet. Uh, ah, and he always wears gloves. That can be any regular-ass old dude in this town. Anything else? There may be photos of him on the internet. You seriously telling us to just search him? Yes. Er, well, not exactly. Try looking up Vice Minister Ichinose. Ishimatsu might have ended up in a photo of his at some point. Hmm, gotcha. Could take a while, but I should be able to find something. Kaito, Higashi. Mind hanging back here with Kido? Sure. What about me, then? You get to tail Ishimatsu with me. You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Guess so, yeah. Well, let's head to the Millennium Tower. Be safe, you two. I'll send you a shot of Ishimatsu once I've got one. Great. Let's move out. Must we? Kaito, I just sent you the photo. Later. So this is Ishimatsu, huh? Gray suit, gloves. We should be able to tell when he's leaving from here. Once he takes us there, we'll be ready to raid the lab. You good to go? Yeah, let's do it. We're in position, Kaito-san. Tell Kido to make the call. Gotcha. It's time for your big acting debut, buddy. You there, Tak? Kido's call went off without a hitch. Ishimatsu's on the move. Great. Now we just have to find him and follow him. Don't fuck this up, man. Don't worry. Me and Sugiura got it covered. Hmm. <laughs>
What the? Suspicious. Suit, gloves, that's him. on guard yeah thankfully that makes him stand out even more
yes. Mm hmm. I understand. I'll be right there.
The Sir Lee? It's a love hotel that closed down years ago. Perfect place to set up a mad scientist lab. Kaito-san, it's me. You find the place? We've got a building that looks the part, at least. We're gonna head in. Be careful, man. Yep. Let's do it. Right. Let's go, Yagami-san. Jeez, it's dark. What's the deal with this place? Hey, do you think this counts as trespassing? More or less. Who the hell are you? Yagami-san, what do we do? Only one thing to do. We fight. Those weren't the last of them, Yagami-san. If anything, that was just a welcoming party. They'll know we're here, too. Probably have weapons next time. Guns, worst case scenario. Who are these guys, anyway? Bums off the street, if I had to guess. Ichinose must have offered them a lot to do this. Yo, you guys okay in there? Yep, we're right on track. They've got guards, too. There's got to be something here. Something like a secret lab, maybe? It'd be the perfect place. It's so dark, you could carry a corpse in here and nobody'd ever know. Think you two can handle it on your own? Actually, I just thought of something. Can you call Mafuyu for me? Get her over here. And tell her to bring the cops. Huh? Why? Well, think about it. We're trespassing, yeah? Even if we do stumble on Shono's secret lab, the court would never accept evidence found illegally. And calling the cops makes it all fucking better? Not exactly. Even they can't investigate without a warrant. Then why the hell are you trying to get Mafia shot over there? I've got an idea. Just talk to Mafia for me, okay? We'll keep looking for the lab. Got it. Dark. Hold on. We shouldn't go in there without a light. Who knows what's gonna be in here? Let's be careful. Heart attack. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> what is it this time? Segura? This isn't funny, man. Where are you? there. I 
guys. Almost there. Shit. Nice. Almost there. Nice. Almost there. That'll do it. Segura! The hell? Can't you see I'm trying to have some fun here? <laughs> I give him three minutes, <laughs> and he's just another body! One man. <laughs> Don't mention it. Come on, let's keep going. the line.
This is it. This has to be Shono's secret lab. You two! What are you... Shona. I didn't think I'd find you working at the scene of the crime. Guess our timing's pretty good. Sugira. Get some video of this place. Mm -hmm. uh, stop that! So all those Yakuza who got their eyes gouged out, you did it here, huh? Can't wait to see what turns up. The cops are gonna have a field day in this place. The victim's fingerprints, hair, bodily fluids, DNA. Can you imagine just how long I've been waiting to see evidence like this come to light? I... I don't know what you're... Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 Segura, what's wrong? I'm sorry, Yagami-san. I've been lying to you about everything all along, until now. What do you mean by that? I'm not actually ex-Kajihira. That wasn't the truth. Neither was my name. Yagami-san, I... I actually know you from a long time ago. That's the whole reason I approached you. My real name, Yagami-san? Fumia Terasawa. Terasawa? I'm the younger brother of Emi, who this bastard murdered. Uh, 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 Sugiro! Nobody move! You in the hood! Drop the knife! Now! You're under arrest for attempted murder. The cuffs won't be necessary. He's no longer a threat. Don't worry about your friend. We won't bother prosecuting him. Oh yeah? No crime was committed here. But sir, we can't just... You need to get forensics in here. There's a good chance a series of murders took place in this very room. And what brings you to say that? Kido told me about it. Unfortunately, we'll need a stronger premise than that. They would never issue a warrant on such grounds. <laughs> well, then it's a good thing I have a better reason lined up. Which is what? Trespassing charges against a rogue ex-lawyer. Which makes this... a crime scene. Guess you'll have to block it off. Preserve the evidence, you know? Yagami-kun... How clever. You don't mind being arrested if it means helping your investigation. I suppose this was your plan from the start. That's why you had Fujikun get the police involved. <laughs> you surprise me. Out of the way! Let me through! Vice Minister Ichinose! This place is under the Ministry of Health's jurisdiction. I demand you leave here at once. Huh. I didn't realize you guys were in the love hotel business, Vice Minister. It's a laboratory. Our top secret research facility for AD9. You have no idea of the fallout this could cause. Then let's find out. If you didn't notice, I just trespassed. Meaning, this whole laboratory is a crime scene now. Isn't that right? Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to work, Yagami-san. At least four people were murdered in here. I'm sure of it. The proof's right here in this room. So please, I'm begging you to help me here. What a conundrum. You see, none of that is my concern. What? Hey. You 
should be thanking your lucky stars we haven't beaten the crap out of you by now. <sighs> Shit, almost makes you feel bad for the poor guy. <laughs> Even if he deserves it. You smoke? Man, you're as soft as ever, Kaito Anaki. Humor me. According to you, this is a secret research facility for AD-9. Yes, Vice Minister? That's correct. Hmm. Our nation's government has invested countless resources into AD-9. It would seem rather foolish if we were to stop its momentum over this. I'm willing to overlook it for AD-9's sake. What? But, sir... Many thanks. Truly. I am in your debt. Of course, Vice Minister. Now, everyone is to evacuate the premises at once. I hope you can continue your research into 89 without any more disturbances. Let me assure you, Dr. Shono, this will not happen again. Is that so? Meaning... You're working for 89 too, aren't you, Chief Prosecutor? It's time for you to go home, Yagami-san. Just how long have you and Morita been working together? AD-9 has many influential supporters. There's no stopping our momentum. Bullshit, there's not. I am not gonna let you win that easy. Ah, oh yes. I should let you know that I just received a call from Director Kido. Kuroiwa sends his regards. Kuroiwa? Apparently, he rescued Kido. He's been freed. Local thugs have made Kamurocho too dangerous for him. You look worse than I was expecting. I hear Kuroiwa paid you a visit. Yep. Just him and that baton he's got. Beat the shit out of us. He took Kido too. How'd things go with your stuff? We found Shono's lab, but the police are basically refusing to investigate it. Why? Chief Prosecutor Morita's defending 89. You for real? Whatever evidence was there is probably long gone by now. 
Yagami-san. Right. There's something else I need to tell you, too. What is it? This have something to do with Sugiura? Yeah, um... That's not actually his name. Huh? So you were Emi Terasawa's little brother, huh? Why'd you keep it a secret? At first, I wanted to make Yagami-san remember. Remember what? How he let my sister suffer. In my eyes, he was a scumbag who let a murderer walk. The murderer who then burned Emmy to death. Damn, that's heavy. Go on. You don't have to hold back. Back then? I was just a shut-in fuck-up. My life was in shambles. Emmy was still there for me, though. When nobody else was. And then, somebody murdered her. Someone as nice as Emmy. Dead. For no reason. But the world doesn't stop for that shit. It just keeps turning. And people go about their business. Over time, I started to hate what our whole society stood for. So, I'm guessing that's what led you to start that burglary ring? Pretty much. At the very least, I didn't want to keep living my life for other people. You know, when Emmy died, Yagami-san didn't apologize. Not to me, or to my parents. So that's when you guys first met, huh? Yup. We were totally different back then, though. Had glasses and long hair, so couldn't really see my face. That's why I didn't recognize you. Defending a murderer? You're just as guilty as he is. Those words cut deeper than you probably could have imagined. Even so, Okubo insisted he didn't do it. But since I was his lawyer, I couldn't apologize. That would essentially be admitting he was guilty. What about after the trial? I didn't apologize then, either. Instead, I ran away. Put it all behind me. Right. You didn't just walk away. You practically got this bar. At least Okubo was getting the death penalty. It didn't feel good, but... I settled for that. Then why'd you start hanging around talk again? Because he found his way back to the courtroom to deal with all this mole business. He even got a Yakuza captain off the hook. Well, it's not like I suddenly just became a lawyer again. Sure seemed that way from my perspective. So, I wanted to see where your head was at. Find out if you'd forgotten what you did to Emmy. If you were gonna pretend like nothing happened, I'd make you remember. And I'd make you pay for it. And that's why you approached me. Yup. I wanted to know what Okubo was up to, too. Find out if he was as afraid of death as he should have been. If anyone was gonna go see him, it was you. But now, it's looking more and more likely Okubo was framed. And I never would have known if I hadn't teamed up with you. Ironic, huh? Three years later, the real killer's finally clear. Now it turns out, Shono, he's the one leading the charge to cure Alzheimer's. He gets to go down in history as a hero? For what? Stabbing my sister to death? Burning her body? Don't worry. Everyone will see him for who he really is once the truth gets out. You weren't there today. The whole fucking system is protecting him. He bent the truth, suppressed evidence right in front of me. What's the point of fighting that kind of battle, huh? It's bullshit! You saw it too, right, Yagami-san? Right?
Look, Sugira. Ever since Emi-chan died, I've been running away from the truth. I was worried. Worried I wasn't gonna like what I found, that maybe I was responsible for her death. It was killing me. I couldn't bring myself to face it all. Talk. If you ask me, everyone has something they're trying to hide from themselves. But sometimes facing your fears is the only way forward. The real reason you came to me is because deep down, you wanted to know the truth. That sound about right? If that's still true, we have our work cut out for us. We're gonna chase the truth as far as we can, even if it's in vain. Yeah, but all our paths are blocked. Who the hell cares? We'll blaze our own path then. Right, Tuck? <laughs> yeah. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. It's Mafuyu. What's up, Mafuyu? I need to speak with you about Morita. Wait, you're still here in town? Yes. I'm waiting at Tender. Do you think you could come meet me here? I... I think I'm being followed. What? It felt like someone was watching me all the way to the bar. I don't believe I'm imagining it. More of those bums the Ministry of Health hired? Or maybe one of the Chief Prosecutor's men. All right, I'll be right over. Thank you. I'm coming with. Igashi, keep an eye on Sugiura while we're gone. Huh? Why do... <sighs> Fine. Let's roll, talk. Thanks for coming. How did it look outside? Did you see anyone suspicious? Not particularly. Seemed fine to me. Mind if I sit? What happened to your face? What? This? It's nothing. You said you wanted to talk to me about Morita? Yes. Specifically about how he acted tonight. It's hard to imagine the Morita I know doing that. It's almost like he's a different person. Almost like he cared more about politics than the law. Not surprising. He's right in the middle of this 89 mess. Thing is, Morita is the reason I decided to become a prosecutor. When my mother was killed in a hit and run, he was there to give me courage, show me a way forward. I've heard. That said, as for why he has an interest in protecting 89, I might have an idea. Hmm? About ten years ago, something happened to his family. Perhaps that's what changed him. Made him look the other way on this. What happened? Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure my theory is correct. It wouldn't be fair if I misrepresented the facts. However, I just spoke to a former police detective who handled that case. I'm about to get the case file from him. Where? We're meeting at the children's park. But it felt like I was being followed, so I didn't want to go alone. So, that's our job here? 
We're your bodyguards? Yes. At least, that was the plan. But seeing what already happened to you... You think a couple of scratches are gonna slow me down? We'll do it. Right, Doc? If you let us see the case file, what do you say to that? Of course. It's a deal, then. We'll be your escorts. Oof, that's cold. Extorting the poor girl? Yes, chivalry's dead, Mafia-chan. Are you ready? The detective is waiting for us. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Well, do you see anyone? Not yet. There. Guess you were right on the money, Mafia Chan. Looks like they want to fight, too. Yep. Those aren't let's chat over some coffee faces. So what? Are they gonna follow us the whole way like that? What should we do? You back off a bit. We'll take care of them. Let's go, Kaito-san. Mafia Chun? Hang in there too, Kaito san! Now we're talking! Alright, Mafia Chun's watching, so let's not screw this up! Hang in there! Yeah! 
This is the place. He should already be here. You said he's an ex-detective, right? Yes. Let's hit it. Uzawa-san, yes? Yep. That's me. Huh? 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 You're the detective from before. Oh shit, Yagami. You used to be on the force? How'd you end up so scruffy? I gotta ask you the same thing. Y you two know each other? Why'd you bring these chatterheads along? Uh, well, uh, Yagami-kun, he's... He's sort of my boyfriend. What? Since when? It's not like that. Then why are you blushing? It's comedy hour over here. So, what do we have in the case? Ten years ago, Chief Prosecutor Morita's older brother strangled their mom to death. But why? A caretaker murder. Their mother was over 70 at the time, afflicted with a severe case of Alzheimer's. And they were taking care of her. Yeah. It's hard to say what a dementia patient will do if you take your eye off them, even for a second. She apparently used to leave the stove on after she cooked, or wander out in the middle of the night. None of the homes had any openings for her either. Ultimately, Morita's brother took care of their mom by himself. Seems he put the burden entirely on his own back. He quit his job and moved in with their mother. All to ensure Morita was free to do his duty as chief prosecutor. He barely took breaks, barely slept, for seven whole years before the incident. All he got from his mother in return was abuse. Verbal and sometimes physical. The hell'd she do that for? It's a side effect of dementia, though not all patients exhibit it. Some cases can be suppressed, but it doesn't always work out. At the time of the incident, Morita's brother was in the midst of a serious mental breakdown. If I had to guess, he'd probably been about to break for months. And the result is him murdering his own mother. Whatever became of him after all that? Ah, uh, well, not long afterward, he tried to hang himself and failed. So they suspended his sentence until he was more stable. And where is he now? It says here he died a year later. By his own hand. Dude. After everything his brother did, Morida was removed from the spotlight for a while. But it seems that's all in the past now. Everyone recognizes him as an unquestionable leader on the Force. So then, Morita blames Alzheimer's for all the suffering his family faced. Most likely, yes. The tragedy could have been prevented if only 89 had existed at the time. And once it does, who knows how many situations just like it could be avoided. With a tragedy like that, no wonder he's defending it. He's sure as hell not in it for the cash. Not for reputation, either. Guy's just doing what he thinks needs to be done. I suppose I can understand that. Huh? You can? Hmm? Huh? You think that excuses everything that monster has done? He framed Ayabe, turned a blind eye to Emi-chan's murder, left Okubo-kun out in the cold, all because this fucking drug needs to get fast-tracked? How can you begin to think that's right? How? If Morita can decide what needs to be done, then so can we. I'm gonna protect every last person they've trampled. I'm gonna get revenge for Emi-chan. 
Interesting. <laughs> what is? Oh, <laughs> it's just uh, really obvious you used to be a lawyer. Used to? I've still got my badge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, lay off the gambling, yeah? You lose more than you win. You know, whatever you say. Yagami-kun, I think it'd be best if you hold on to these files. Yo, talk. Make sure she gets home safe, will you? Hey, since we're close, do you mind if we drop in on salary? Oh, sure. What's up? Oh, no reason. She just likes seeing the two of us together. Oh, uh, what now? Uh, whatever. I was gonna go fill her in on what happened tonight anyway. Why? Kido never would have ended up in Kamurocho if not for salary. And her honey trap. A honey trap? You can't be serious. I, um... Uh, Yagami-san, I didn't realize you'd be stopping by. Awfully suspicious. Just what were you two up to in here? Um, not much. Guess we should go then. Hey, how did everything go with Kido? Hold on, I want to know what you two were up to first. Well, Hoshino-kun was just... Okay, 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 this is all just a big misunderstanding. Or maybe not? Or maybe it is. Maybe you'll get further next time. Is it just me, or is Sari-san enjoying this? Oh, yeah. I've heard. It's horrible what happened to Morita's mother. So the prosecution is all working to protect AD-9? The chief prosecutor is, at the very least. This is all my fault. I'm the one who told Morita that Yagami-kun would be there. If I had only gone to Izumita instead... Don't think like that. There's no knowing who's on what side. We can't trust anyone except ourselves. But... Um, can I say something real quick? I'm not sure I'm the best person to be defending Ayabe. Not against an enemy this powerful. But what do you mean? Agreed. Hoshino-kun can't handle the pressure. It has to be you, Yagami-san. Oh, ha ha. Real funny. This isn't a joke. We're dead serious. Please, Yagami-san. We're going up against the people who murdered Emi-san. Do it for her. For Okubo-san. And for Shintani-sensei. It's time for you to show the world what you think is right. No more running. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. I'll let Genda Sensei and Ayabe san know right away. This is bound to make headlines. I can see it now. Disgraced lawyer Yagami Sensei makes his triumphant courtroom return. All right, do we really need the disgraced part? But, all right, if they both agree, I'll defend Ayabe. Guess I'll need to start digging up some more evidence. You walk Mafiu to her taxi, okay? Shall we? Can you stay with me until I find my taxi? Thank you for helping me tonight, Yagami-kun. 
Huh? Uh, one second. It's Izumita. Now that I think about it, he left a message earlier, too. Did you listen to it? Yes. He said he wanted to talk. It sounds like he's at Majore. Majore, huh? Guess he wanted coffee instead of booze. What should we do? You don't have to do anything. Go home where you're safe. Izumita might be on their side, too. But... I'll go instead. You? Really? I'll be fine. All right. Stay safe out there. Yagami, what are you doing here? Did you come alone? <sighs> yeah. Good. I sent Mafia you home. I could go for a chat and a coffee, though. Sorry, not interested. What did you have to tell Mafia you? It has nothing to do with you. Oh, then how about I guess? Huh? The reason you wanted to talk to her was... You were going to tell her to join forces with Morita. What? Am I wrong? I see what you're getting at. What happened with the chief prosecutor and that Ministry of Health bureaucrat? It wasn't normal. Not normal? That's a bit of an understatement. They want to protect 89 so bad, they ignored evidence of a murder under their noses. You're working with them too, aren't you? What are you implying? Chief Prosecutor Morita is part of a conspiracy to push 89 through, no matter the cost. Do you have proof of that? This. I got it from Mafuyu. It's a case file detailing a domestic murder within Morita's family. Sound familiar? This is the first I'm hearing of it. I'll give it to you. If you have the strength to fight. Excuse me? What happens if you find out I'm telling the truth? How far will you go, Izumira? Would you be willing to bring your own boss to justice? Of course. Ask a hundred prosecutors and they'd answer the same way. Huh. <laughs> Maybe you're not as bad as I thought. This incident is what gave Morita motivation to support 89. That's how I see it, at least. This is tragic. Yeah. His sick mom strangled to death by his own brother. <sighs> Morita's doing what he thinks is right in all this. That's why he suppressed evidence earlier. Back at Shono's lab, I mean. <laughs> the mole killed countless people there. It's only natural there'd be traces left behind. Our case would be practically bulletproof if we found them. It's just, I... I can't believe you would do this. 
way he acted at the lab, we have to believe he's wrapped up in this. Wouldn't you agree? Mm. Izumita. I... I guess I can't deny that. Right? But if he really is trying to protect 89, how do we stop him? What can we even do? Well, I was planning to use Aibe's trial to bring all the dark truths about 89 out into the light. That's why I chased Hamura down, why I needed to find Shono's lab. But Ichinose and Morita crushed those leads before they really even took off. And you don't have the ammo to stop them. <sighs> it hurts to hear the truth laid out like that. But it is a relief knowing you're not on their side, believe it or not. <laughs> not sure this is the time to be relieved. <sighs> yeah, I know. Hey. Hmm? I was wondering, you think we could get Ichinose to testify? Get him called to the stand? Under what pretense? I don't know. Maybe to explain 89? It could be anything, really. He can't say no if the prosecution requests him, right? Then, what do we do once we have him there? We corner him eloquently. Shower him with questions until he gives up. Me and you both. Oh, wait, that's your big plan? Hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. We don't have a chance of winning if we're not willing to take some risks. Okay, I'm in. I'll let you know once I've made the arrangements. <sighs> what a day. So basically, it's up to Izumita whether or not Ichinose shows at the trial. The question now is, how do we press Ichinose once he's there? Before we get too far, Genda-sensei and Ayabe are both on board with Yagami-san representing the defense. The lousiest lawyer ever, back in the court. <laughs> Looks like it. Now, let's talk about our next steps. First on the agenda, though. <laughs> what do we call Sugiura now? That's your next step? It was, uh, Terasawa, yeah? I'm fine with Sugiura. Why change it up now? Fair enough. Um, speaking of next steps... I'd like to try putting some pressure on Kido again. Maybe we could use the video Sari-san helped us get to force him into testifying for us. Good plan. Anyone else? This doesn't have anything to do with the case, but some shit's going down in the Matsugane family. We can talk about it right after this, Yagami. Roger that. What's up? Just so you know, I'm gonna go talk to Okubo soon. He still thinks Emi-chan's family hates him for what happened. I need him to know that's not true, if that's okay with you. Sure, I'm fine with it. You want to go see Okubo, Yagami-san? Yeah. I wish you could come too, but civilians can't get that kind of clearance. It's okay. It is how it is.
I'd like to talk to Kido if possible. He'd make a valuable witness in Ayabe's trial. We've got some dirt on him, too. Yeah, thanks to Saori san's little adventure. He won't be able to turn us away once we remind him of that. You ready to see Okubo? Yeah, it's time to clear the air. Yagami-san, are you ready to go to the ADDC? Not just yet, sorry. Yagami-san, can you give Okubo a message for me? Sure. What's up? Once he gets out, I want to go visit Emmy's grave with him. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. There's a lot we have to take care of before we can even get to that, though. Yeah. Otherwise Okubo will get executed and never have his name cleared. We'll fix it. Don't worry. I hope you're right. We can't let him die in there. Agreed. I'll give him the message. I don't believe this. You're serious? Yeah. He told us his name was Sugiura at first. Fumiya-kun. You know, I only met him once before Emmy's death. Both of us were a little shy, though, so we didn't really talk. I can still remember how he glared at me during the trial. And how I couldn't even look him in the eye. By the way, he told me to tell you something. Huh? He said he wanted... He wants to visit Emmy's grave with you. I see. He really wants to do that? With me? Yeah. I'd like to take him up on that. Ayabe's trial is coming up. We're gonna snare the guy behind 89. A man from the Ministry of Health by the name of Ichinose. Can you do it, though? For real? Yeah. The prosecutor's on my side, too. Ichinose won't stand a chance. I'll tell them you're innocent, too. I gave up on that a long time ago. I thought no one would hear me. No matter how loud I scream. I thought I'd die branded a murderer. But if Fumiya-kun understands, maybe there's still a chance. If the guy who hated me most forgives me, maybe everyone else will too. I'll get you out of here. I promise. Yagami-san, are you ready to go to the ADDC? Sure, let's do it.
We'll need to take a taxi to the ADDC, right? Bring it on! Really, guys? I knew it would all work out. What do you mean? Seeing Kido without an appointment. That video has some serious power. You can thank Sari-san for that. Afternoon. Sorry to barge in. We know you're busy. Take a seat. <sighs> well, let's get straight to the point. We'd like to call you to the stand as a witness in Ayabe's trial. That's not possible. Would this change your mind? Uh, you've made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. <laughs> Do what you will. Wait, really? Ichinose is unstoppable, and my testimony won't change that. You're up against everyone who stands to gain from 89, including patients who it would save, and their families. You can't win. Not how things stand, no. But that's exactly why we need your testimony. I have no obligation to help you. If you truly want to release the video, release it. You are aware of the consequences that would have, right? I'll become the laughing stock of the scientific world. My career will be over. But I'd rather that than make an enemy of Ichinose. I'm not ready to die just yet. Did you talk to Ichinose after Kuroiwa rescued you from the arcade? I have nothing to say about that. Now leave me alone. Are you really that scared of him? Of course. Losing my job is a much more appealing proposal than losing my life. Nobody's dying if we can help it. We can protect you. Don't you understand? No matter what I say, you can't win this trial. And if I open my mouth, I'll have to live the rest of my life in fear. Until the day they finally finish the job. How can we change your mind? You're in the middle of this whole 89 mess. But you never actually killed anyone yourself. You might be able to argue for a lighter sentence. Absolutely not. You can't convince me to sign my own death warrant. <sighs> Damn it. We're not getting anywhere. You shouldn't fight a battle you can't win. I would never have gotten where I am today without that bit of advice. So you don't think we can beat him? <laughs> Do you even have a shred of evidence? Oh, well, I suppose you did. But Ichinose-san took it right out of your hands. Can't you see how weak you are compared to him? You don't have a chance in hell of winning this case! Well, you're right. <laughs> For now, I guess. It's easy to tell how the case will go. We just don't have quite enough evidence yet. There's no way we'll take down Ichinose with what we've got at the moment. I appreciate the advice. Not yet, Yagami-san. He's trying to take us for fools. I can make him talk for sure, 
All we have to do is push the video to- We'd be wasting our time. You can't say that if you don't try. Come on, Yagami-san. I said we're not doing it. Please, just, just give it a shot. If the video doesn't work, then we'll find some other way to- There's no point. No point? That's enough of the tough detective act. You can't run. Hoshino! <clears throat> I never said anything about running away, okay? I just... I don't want to lose. I thought I could help you. <laughs> Having a falling out, are we? Shut up! <sighs> Once I have my proof, I'll be back. <laughs> and when you do, I will gladly cooperate. Not that I'm expecting much. You said something's going down with the Matsugane family? Yep, it's all pretty much gone to shit. After the Patriarch died, everyone just kind of went their separate ways. Especially the younger guys. Is anyone trying to hold the family together? Guy named Kengo, yeah. You beat the stuffing out of him once or twice, remember? He was one of Captain Hamura's golden boys. There's kind of something up with him, though. What? You'll see when we get there. Want to tag along? Well, you want to check on the family with me? Sure, let's do it. Sorry for asking you to do this, Yagami. The family's a real mess right now. Sure you don't want to bring Kaito-san along? He got expelled, remember? They wouldn't even let him through the door. Right. Anyway, let's go. Doubt I can stop them all on my own. Stop them? What do you mean? Just come on. Yo, Kengo. Higashi Anaki. Finally went and brought me Yagami-san, huh? Huh? Easy. It's okay. Need something from me? Our patriarch is dead. And I hear you've got the scoop on who did it. You know who the mole is. And I want you to tell us. So you want revenge? We don't just want it. We need to get it. All part of being a Yakuza. You're gonna massacre the son of a bitch! You can't handle it. The fuck you say to me?! I've told them that already. But they won't listen. So what do you want me to do? I mean, you're a lawyer, yeah? Isn't persuasion your job? You can't worm your way out of this. Tell us who the mole is! Or... Do you need a little encouragement? Kengo! I'm rebuilding this family one way or another. Now stand the fuck down, Aniki!
God damn! All right. If you want to know that bad, I'll tell you. Huh? But... Who is he? Kuroiwa. From the Tokyo PD. Organized crime. Bastard's a cop. Doesn't end with him, though. Kuroiwa's just a tool for the people really behind all this. They're not afraid of some small-time Yakuza thugs. <laughs> oh, shut up. That's why I'm gonna beat them myself. In court. <laughs> you... You seriously think... You can do that? <laughs> Matsugane-san was like a father to me for the last 20 years. I knew him longer than you guys. I want revenge as bad as you. Maybe more. Can you let me handle this one? <laughs> I owe you one, Yagami. Don't mention it. Later. Killing Kuroiwa wouldn't accomplish shit. He's just the tip of this whole fucked up iceberg. Let Yagami do this. You might even want to consider helping him. Yo. Sorry, Higashi pulled you into that. <laughs> Were you spying on me? Not too hard when you've got a drone. <laughs> I guess not, no. Anyways, with Matsugane-san gone, the family's been drifting in the wind like a kite without a string. Looks like you brought him back down to Earth, though. Thanks, man. Uh, you hit your head or something? Yeah, yeah, make your jokes. Just don't say I never said it. Right. Welcome back, Yagami-san. Hey, man. How's the prep going for Ayabe's trial? Not bad. I've gone everywhere I wanted to go, at least. So, you ready to do this, then? There's no going back after this. Well, when you put it like that... So, you ready to get this rolling? Yeah, I'm good to go. Gotcha. By the way, uh... I just got a call from Hoshino-kun. Sounded gloomy as hell. Apparently, he wants you to talk to Genda-sensei over at the office when you get a minute. Oh? He didn't say what about, though. Anyway, I'm just the messenger. Catch you later. Yo. Hmm? You get called in too? Yep. Just walked in. Is Hoshino-kun not back yet? Not yet, no. Is something the matter? No, not really. Over here, Yagami. Something you wanted to discuss, Genda-sensei? No, not me. Him. Prosecutor Izumira. They've got men monitoring every nook and cranny of your agency. Figured it'd be safer to talk here. Hmm. 
More bad news? Is that how you treat a guest? And no, it's good news. Guess it can't be all bad. Ichinose will testify at the trial. So, you convinced him, huh? Run into any trouble? No, it went fairly smoothly. So, you want me to explain 89? Yes, at the upcoming trial. And by that you mean the one for the murdered lawyer? That's right. Before his death, that lawyer made a phone call to Dr. Shono. Of course, we have no reason to believe that call had anything to do with the killing. Dr. Shono in 89? Involved in a murder? <laughs> it's quite far-fetched, if you ask me. A preposterous notion. <laughs> Indeed. However, that doesn't change the fact that the call was made. And so we'll need to explain in court just why it can't be related. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Now don't worry. You won't need to say a word about the call itself. Just explain the situation. 89 is a drug of global importance, and Dr. Shono and his team have put immense effort into its development. Once you've explained, I'm sure it'll clear the air. Yes, I see. I'm not sure I can portray it accurately, though. I'm not a scientist, after all. If you would be more comfortable, we could always call Dr. Shono to the stand. But its language may in fact be too complicated. I'm not sure our jurors would understand. If possible, I'd prefer it were you up there, Ichinose-san. You have a point. It would be foolish to take up Dr. Shono's time with such an insignificant matter. Very well, I'll do it. Contact the Ministry of Health when the trial date is decided. Thank you very much, sir. If you'll excuse me, I have another meeting to get to. Nice going. You made it sound like if Ichinose didn't testify, Shono would. It worked. Ichinose didn't want to risk Shono getting in there and slipping up. Can't trust anyone to do it but himself. Good work, Izumita. Turns out you can be pretty devious when you want to be. Devious? Really? I'm kidding. Really, I can't thank you enough. We'll have Ichinose out in the open thanks to you. All we have to do now is find a way to corner him. What about Hamura from the Matsugane family? Can we ask him to testify? Mm, he's still on the run. Guy couldn't even be bothered to come to his patriarch's funeral. Of course not. How could he after what he did? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we just grab Kuroiwa and get him to confess to being the mole? You do remember the beating he gave you last time, right? I let my guard down, that's all. Cut it out, you two. Come on, guys. We've got Ichinose right where we want him. We just need to figure out what to do next. You're not gonna win empty-handed, you know. It's Mafuyu. What's up? Ayabe's casino is getting raided by the police. Lamont? Now? Yeah. They just started. Morita is setting the wheels in motion. They've already arrested most of the employees. I get it. It's a character assassination. A crooked cop running an illegal casino. No surprise if he commits a murder, too. The chief prosecutor is hitting us where it hurts. Right. Just wanted to give you a heads up. So, how's it looking, Yagami-kun? Do you think you can win? I'll do the best I can. The good news is, I have a lot of help. Thanks for the call, Mafuyu. Of course. See ya. Morita's here in Kamurocho, blowing the lid off Ayabe's casino. In that case, I'd better get going. He's not gonna come here. Well, better safe than sorry. Huh. If they're raiding the casino, Kuroi was probably there, too. What do you want to do, Tuck? The chief prosecutor's made his move. Probably wouldn't hurt to stop by and say hello. We know all about him now. You sure this is a good idea? He's not the kind of guy you mess around with. 
Don't worry. We just want to check in. Let's roll, talk. I'm Ayabe's lawyer. Let me through. Sorry, no lawyers allowed yet. Well done, but let him pass. I'll vouch for him personally. Chief Prosecutor? Thanks. Were you aware there was an underground casino hidden down here, Yagami-san? Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> Our friend Ayabe was really something, wasn't he? Who would have thought he'd take bribes from an illicit underground casino? Not to mention selling confidential police intel to the criminal underbelly of this town. Shintane-sensei surely stumbled upon Ayabe's secret. And so Ayabe killed him to make sure the truth stayed hidden. Quickly, with a police-issued handgun. I see. That's the story the prosecution is telling, huh? We can speak further once we get inside. I've learned a lot about you, Chief Prosecutor. About the tragedy in your family ten years ago. Then someone has betrayed me? Someone you betrayed. Someone who trusted you for years. I have to say, it was strange seeing how you behaved in Shono's lab. A public prosecutor, the so-called Defenders of Justice, chose to protect 89 over the sanctity of the law. I think it's time you drop the act. My mother, she was afflicted with early onset Alzheimer's. The disease progressed quickly. Not long after she started showing symptoms, she couldn't even recognize my face. Whenever I went to visit her, I was greeted with, nice to meet you, as if she didn't know who I was. Occasionally she'd yell at me, accuse me of being a thief or a murderer. Watching my mother's mind deteriorate, well, it nearly broke me. And yet my brother continued caring for her. He was there when I couldn't be, all by himself. When we were young, he and I had both dreamt of becoming lawyers. He devoted himself to his studies, far better than I ever did. Practically worked himself to the bone. Yet, ultimately, he never managed to pass the bar. I can only imagine how he felt when I passed on my first attempt. And yet, he was happy for me, almost as if my success was his. He was truly... A good man. Please, go on. When we learned that my mother had Alzheimer's, my brother was devastated by the news. He took it hard. I, on the other hand, was filled with internal conflict. I was torn between caring for my ailing mother and continuing my burgeoning career as a lawyer. But my brother could sense how I felt. And then he said to me, Don't worry. 
Leave mom to me. Your success is all that matters. As long as you make it, my dream comes true too. And so, he continued caring for our mother for seven long years, 24 hours a day, a woman who couldn't even recognize him as her own son. Whereas I ran further and further away. But somewhere, deep down in my heart, I knew it couldn't continue that way, that someday he would break. And the regret you feel, that failure, is what led you to 89. When was it? After Shintane sent his murder. Not long after, Vice Minister Ichinose summoned me personally to fill me in on the details. He did? But why? Ichinose-san predicted that the prosecutor's office would discover the dark truth about 89 before long. And upon looking into some family histories, he discovered what happened to my mother. When he realized the extent of it, he knew I would be sympathetic to their cause. His proposal was quite clear. 89 was a groundbreaking new drug, meant to save countless suffering patients and families. But if it was to see the light of day, I would have to look the other way for a while. Prosecutor Morita, have you heard this saying before? Hmm? Fire tempers iron, and temptation steals the just. If someone told you they knew how to make mankind immortal at the sacrifice of a few, you would have looked the other way no matter how many people had to die. I do feel guilt. I can't deny that. That's the only reason I'm still here. Shono has killed people to cover this up. Emi Terasawa died for it. What about her? Did she deserve that? Meanwhile, Shinpei Okubo was falsely convicted and sentenced to death. He wakes up every day not knowing if it's his last. What did he do to deserve that? Your guilt is nothing more than an act. Do you even realize what it is you're doing? That's enough. How do you think your brother would feel if he saw what you were doing now? Huh? Tell me, Morita! Shut up! Just... Shut up! If you want me to shut up, you're gonna have to kill me. Morita, Okobo-kun and Ayabe are depending on me. Emi Terasawa deserves justice, too. And I'm not stopping until I get it! Hey, Tak. Kuroi was here. I believe that's enough, Morita-san. Long time no see. Seems you're already back in action. <laughs> Guess I went too easy. You little... So, another two versus one fight? Is Yagami joining us? What are you doing here? I suggest you turn a blind eye to this. You're good at that, aren't you? Kaito-san! Think you could stay out of this? Like hell I will! You already had your turn. Kuroiwa killed Matsugane-san. And well, it's about time I pay him back for what he did. <sighs> Touching words, Yagami-san. But now is the time for action. And don't worry. I won't arrest you for obstruction on this. Don't talk to me about arrests. You're not even a cop. 
You're a goddamn assassin! Calm down. How would you even cover this up? There are limits to how much protection I can offer you. You have no reason to be here. Kaito san, let's go. These guys are Matsugane family, aren't they? <laughs> Damn right. They're probably worried about you or something. Afraid the 89 boys would come try to erase you, you know? What? Hey! There he is! Come on. We're out of here. Hoshino-kun. Yagami-san. 
When I heard you were here with Morita and Koroiwa, I, um... I get it. You're the one who called Higashi over, aren't you? That's right. If I hadn't, who knows what dirty tricks they would have used. I couldn't take that risk. <laughs> I appreciate that, Hoshino. And... and... I'm really sorry for what happened in Kido's office. I was out of line. You deserve trust. And I didn't give it. Yagami-san, I messed up. What I did was unacceptable. Threatening a witness is just... It's not how I want to go about winning this case, Yagami-san. Got one thing to say, Hoshino. What? Iron burns temptation, while the just are often tested by fire. Huh? <laughs> that he's got a black raincoat who are you Tori wrote this, huh? Yep. Said he tried to get it out just in time for today's trial. Illegal human experiments discovered in Kamurocho. Dementia drug AD9, the focus. These pictures... I took them when we broke into Shono's lab. <laughs> nice work. Guess it's almost time. Are they gonna set Okubo free if you win this trial? It's not guaranteed, but if not today, I'll make it happen eventually. Even if it costs me my life. It's time. Give him hell in there. I will. Matsugane-san deserves justice. Yeesh. Don't think I'm ever gonna get used to seeing you in a suit. <laughs> That's all you have to say to me? This is kind of a big deal, remember? Good luck today, Yagami-san. I'll be taking notes. 
I don't know. This trial might not be the most textbook case. <laughs> That's exactly why it'll be an educational experience. Defendant, please state your name and date of birth for the record. Kazuya Ayabe. Born on July 2nd, 1983. And where are you currently residing? This is the first trial for the murder of Masamichi Shintani. The defendant, a crooked cop by the name of Kazuya Ayabe. The bullet found in Shintani's body bore the rifling marks from Ayabe's gun. That's the most significant piece of evidence they have against him. But that was all a cover-up perpetrated by the mole, Kuroiwa. Ayabe is innocent. In other words, this trial is little more than a farce. At least, until this very moment. The prosecution moves to call a witness to the stand. Someone who can deny this case's link to the ADDC. The Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health, Kaoru Ichinose. The ADDC bears most of the responsibilities carried out by the Medical Institute. Most notably, the development of AD9, which was announced to the world last year. Director Kido has done a fine job overseeing its evolution into a matter of national import. Can you tell the court what exactly AD9 is? It's a revolutionary drug meant to be a complete cure for Alzheimer's disease. Given how pressing the drastic increase in dementia patients is, we've placed great faith and hope into AD9. Thank you. I have no further questions. Members of the jury, despite the defense's claims that the ADDC is somehow related to this case, the prosecution holds that it is an absurdity to link such a reputable institution to the horrible murder that took place not long ago. That is all. You may begin the cross-examination, counsel. You're the Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health, correct? Pretty high rank. That is what the title implies, yes. You must have really stood out to attain that position. Maybe you did something extra special that got you noticed? I'm not sure how this is relevant to the case at hand. Oh, come now. Why not indulge him? What? Think back to 2002, the year the Medical Institute was founded. I hear you spearheaded that whole operation. As a result, many new organizations came into being, the ADDC included. Naturally, many Ministry of Health officials welcomed this move because... You made numerous new positions for senior executives to retire into. Thanks to you, they'd have a stable income well into old age. Is this really the place to be discussing such accusations? This center, that lab, who cares what hospital? Consultancy positions sprung up for those facilities left and right. And who better to fill them than former Ministry of Health execs? They'd never have to worry about finding employment again. It was a crafty move, Chinose-san. One I'm sure the Ministry leadership loved you for. I can see why you ended up Vice Minister. However, the good times didn't last forever. In the months and years after its founding, people slowly caught on to the Medical Institute's total lack of output. And with the country in a recession, they started zeroing in on the Institute's funding. The vast amounts of money being poured into supporting it seemed like nothing more than a waste. Before long, Closing the Institute outright didn't seem out of the question. Plans were even set in motion to redevelop the land once it was gone. 
Rumor had it that Minister Kasumi had actually approved those plans internally. Hmm. Are all your arguments going to be based on hearsay? Speaking of hearsay, Kamurocho's been buzzing with talk of this murderer who gouges people's eyes out. That killer is an assassin I've termed the Mole. But the truth of it is, those murders are the result of human experiments for 89, carried out in a secret lab in the heart of the city. This is all purely gossip. Members of the jury, 89's development is about to enter the clinical trial phase. However, ADDC researchers have already carried out clinical trials behind closed doors. Several people have died as a result. What? Of course, it tried to keep that a secret, but it eventually found its way out. And I have the evidence to prove it. Take a look at this. <sighs> the victim in this case, Shintani-sensei, was inching ever closer to the truth. That's why he called the ADDC. Isn't that right, Ichinose-san? Please elaborate to the jury what exactly you mean by that. Not long before his death, Shintani-sensei was told a secret by Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family. A secret that led him right to the ADDC. This secret was that someone from the ADDC was connected to the serial murders taking place in Kamurocho. And so, Shintani-sensei called the center and asked specifically for a researcher named Shono. The man spearheading the 89 human experiments. Enough of this nonsense! Human experimentation! Don't be ridiculous! What kind of trial is being run here? How can he say whatever he wants without a single piece of evidence? Why doesn't the prosecution stop him? Sorry. <laughs> I was enjoying hearing what he had to say. Have you lost your mind? Ichinose-san, I'm not finished with my line of questioning. Excuse me? Actually, it's more of a confirmation than a question. <sighs> Do you know who Shinpei Okubo is? Yes. He's the murderer you set free three years ago. I set him free, yes. But he's not a murderer. The one who actually killed Wakusan and Emi Terasawa was the same Shono I mentioned earlier. This garbage again? Don't act like you don't already know all of this. You're just not coming clean. Even though Okubo-kun's sitting on death row, waiting for the day they decide it's his turn. Enough! I was only asked here to explain to the jury about AD-9 and the ADDC. How dare you treat me like this? You and Shono hired the Mole to murder for you! That was the only way you'd have patience for your underground human experiments. And all to protect the interests of 89. You can't make these claims without proof! Show me your evidence! If you say so. What? Just the other day, someone reached out to me over in Kamurocho. They wanted to entrust me with a crucial piece of information. Hmm? Who are you? <sighs> what the... Captain Hamura? The hell are you doing here? 
Sorry sight, wasn't it? Huh? Matsugane's funeral. They had to go and use HQ's gigantic hall. Made it look like barely anyone even bothered to show up. Wish I could have gone and lit some incense. But if I did, Kuroiwa would have taken me out. Yeah? And what are you doing here? Talk, you found Shono's lab, right? Good job. Those bastards never wanted to tell me where it was. Didn't think you could do it. Maybe. But Ichinose is covering the whole damn thing up. <laughs> Out of options, huh? I thought giving up wasn't your style. Here's the deal. I got something for you. What? Gotta settle accounts. What accounts? Never mind. But holding on to this does nothing for me. So, I want to help you out here, just this once. For the boss, give him justice. If there was any justice, I'd have gotten shot. But the boss paid the price instead. Fucked up, yeah? None of this was his fault. I already lost my chance. You, on the other hand, still may have one. Hamara. This is it. You're the boss's only shot now. Put an end to this. Once and for all. I think you'll like what you find on here. This is decisive evidence. It'll nail Ichinose. Your Honor, I offer the data I received into evidence. Take a listen to this. Did you tell someone about Shono? That lawyer, Shintani. Word has it, he just called the ADDC. Well, uh, yeah, I might have said something, but it's fine. Shintani will keep quiet if I tell him to. How can you be so naive? This is unacceptable. You must deal with this Hamura-san immediately. Do what needs to be done. Have Kuroiwa-san handle the dirty details. It'll cost you another hundred mil. This mistake was yours and yours alone. Don't anger me further. This Kuroiwa-san is a Kamuro PD detective. But when he's not out on his beat, he works as the Mole, an assassin for hire. In this call, you used Hamura to order Kuroiwa to murder Shintani-sensei. Hmm. <laughs> you should have known better, Ichinose-san. I imagine you must have been pretty panicked to use such an insecure method. Audio means nothing. Forging it is a simple task. You're framing me. So, you think that's not enough? That's right. Then what if I had a material witness who could attest to its validity? I'd say, bring them. Perfect. Just a minute. <clears throat> Not who you expected? <clears throat> Witness. Who is speaking in this recording? I'm one of them. The other is Vice Minister Ichinose here. Without a doubt. Yes. Order in the court. Izumida. 
Where is the chief prosecutor? Is he aware of this farce? About that, sir. The chief prosecutor won't be joining us in court today. Or ever again. What? It turns out he's been abetting crimes for some time now. And so... We're charging him with abuse of power. Kido's up next. Right after my testimony. What? The doctor sides with whoever he thinks will win. And look at that. Guess he thinks you're on the losing side. Listen here. You pushed countless people down on your way to the top. Now it's your turn to fall, Ichinose. <clears throat> Kaito-san! Already going! What the hell was that about? Where's he going? Hoshino-kun. It's all on you now. What? You've always wanted to handle a case on your own, right? Huh? Sorry to spring this on you, but good luck. Please, don't go! I know you can do it, Hoshino-kun. It's time you graduate from the sidekick role, you know? But... Are you ready to proceed? Um, uh, uh, um uh. <laughs> The defense is ready. Your Honor. Kaito-san. Caught this asshole handing out orders over the phone. <laughs> orders? What did he say? He told his boys to eliminate the mole. They'd eliminate him? Wait. They're gonna kill Kuroiwa. <laughs> Guess in the end he's just a tool for them to, you know, dispose of. But we're done for if we let that happen. Yeah. He's gotta be over in Kamurocho. Come on, Sugira's pulling the car around now. Damn it. It's Yagami. I'm almost back in the city. Any idea where Kuroiwa is? We're having trouble getting in touch with him. Oh, and I'm not sure if this is related, but there's been a shooting in Theater Square. What? I wonder if Croy was involved somehow. Stop! Come on! He's over here! The 
These guys don't seem like regular thugs. Guess these are ministry boys, huh? If they get in your way, don't hesitate to make them pay for it. Now don't stop till you get to Theater Square! I've been waiting for this. You deaf? He said stop! Gross. Anaki. Come on, that ain't what I meant. Keep your head in the game, Kaito-san. Now let's go! <laughs> <laughs> You want to bet this is Kuroi was doing? Yeah, he did this. Killed them before they could kill him. Then, where'd the bastard run off to? <sighs> Hey. Sir, you can't just... Let's all just play nice, okay? Tell me, where did Kuroiwa go? <sighs> that bastard. He's on his way to the ADDC. What? <sighs> Probably gonna kill Shono. Revenge for getting targeted. He's gonna destroy AD9. <sighs> And ruin every last person who supported it. <laughs> so all the assholes are gonna take each other out, huh? Not bad. No. If Shono dies, it's done. The whole case will end up going cold. And then we'll never be able to clear Okubo's name. Huh? <laughs> so let's go. Emafuyu. Can you send some officers to the ADDC? Shono's in danger. Get him somewhere safe. Man, this shit's a pain in the ass. Yeah. And keep an eye out for Kuroiwa. He's getting desperate.
asshole already here? What's going on? Where's Karoiwa? Please, stop! It's okay, I'm a lawyer. Is Dr. Shono out of danger? Uh, we're not really sure of the situation ourselves. Didn't somebody tell you what's going on here? We've got orders coming in from all sides. I, I, I don't even know who's in charge here! Karoiwa! You're Yagami, aren't you? Out of my way. Not so fast. We need to check your possessions. Lift your arms up, now! And why's that, officer? To protect Dr. Shono from thugs like you. Now do it! Karoiwa's the one going for Shono! You can't let him get away with this! Why won't you listen to us? Karoiwa's the one you want! He's got a gun! We're done here! Kaito-san, Kuroi was heading for the research wake. We can't let him reach Shono's lab. <clears throat> now let's go! <laughs> All right. If you oh. say so! <laughs> Corner him! Looks like we're all getting arrested today, huh? Yagami-san, I'll see you in court! <laughs> Come on, Toph. We'll deal with him later. All right. Looks like there's only one way out of this, guys. Let's go! to us. You go. Just get a move on already. Sugi or a two. Talk. Give that son of a bitch what for. So you want to fight, huh? I don't have time for this bullshit! Stay down. That bastard. There's 
there's nothing he won't do. Damn it! The door's not opening! It's locked! Locked? Hmm. When I was here with Emichan. That's the research wing, where they develop all our new drugs. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. We need a gold key card. Let's find one. Security system activated. Three minutes to full lockdown. What the? Sorry, buddy. I need to borrow this for a bit. I found one. We can get through the gate. Look! On the Skyway! That's murdering them! We gotta put an end to this. Karoiwa! Okay, man? We're gonna need another way in. What about the underground parking lot? The same way we got in before. Good idea, Yagami-san. That'll get us into the hospital. We can get to the research wing from there. Especially now that we have the key card. That might work. But we've gotta try. We can't let Kuroiwa get away with this. Damn right. Trying the short straw, huh? Don't give me your snark, punk. You're done for! I don't know how long I can keep doing this, but we can't stop. Not now. Y Yagami-san, what's wrong? <sighs> Just a little dizzy. No surprise there.
Are you okay, Yakimi-san? You're, uh... You're kind of bleeding a lot. Tano... I'm not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel just yet, though. <laughs> Maybe you're better than you look. Come on, let's go! You're never gonna last if you keep taking cases like this. Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction, your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Look, just chill out, okay? Take it from me, I've been around the block way longer than you have. Take us to the research room. not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. But to be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. What? Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then, because I honestly believe I can win. Please, Yagami-san. You need to help Okubukun. And my brother, too. <laughs> He's stubborn, but he means well. Yagami-san. Just now, I... I heard Emmy talking to me. It felt too real to just be my imagination. Did you notice anything? I can tell you all about it later. We've got work to do. Huh? It's time we stop Kuroiwa once and for all. Right. Huh. Whatever that fog over you was, looks like it's cleared.
use the key card. You know, the gold one. This is where Shono is, right? If he hasn't been evacuated... His laboratory is just down this hallway. Meaning... Kuroi was waiting for us? Probably. Shono. Karoiwa. You just can't help but get in my way. Hi, huh, Yagami. Put the gun down. Getting revenge isn't gonna do you any good. You should recognize it's all over by now. Revenge? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm here for. This rat comes with me. What? <laughs> Drop it! Just hang in there. I'll make sure you get some help. And what about you? Me and Kuroi were gonna settle this once and for all. <sighs> That's fine. Don't try and rush, just... hit him once for me. Yakami-san. I will. We're here to rescue you, Shono. Not that I want to. Take care of him, okay? Yes, I can do that. Give it up. You're finished, Kuroiwa. You're wrong. This isn't the end! What do you mean? I have 89! As long as it exists, I will never surrender. Explain yourself. You told me that you were gonna keep Shono alive. Yeah. Shono and I... We're going to finish 89 together. I assure you he wants the same thing. That's how we'll be saved. Both of us. You really so sure you can accomplish that? Yeah, I'm sure of it! I'll show you. <laughs> Just you wait. We're going to finish. No matter how many test subjects it takes us to complete it. As long as we complete the cure, Shono and I will be praised as heroes. You're insane. <laughs> in that case, you can be our first subject in a long while. And 
when you die, which of course you will, I'll gouge out your eyes! <laughs>
Look who went and made a new friend. They, uh, agreed not to put us behind bars, at least for now. But we're gonna need a lawyer, though. Shono. <laughs> Don't move! Drop the knife! Just telling him to stop's not gonna do shit. Shono! for them anymore. Huh? What's that? This? It's a dose of AD9. You see, I finally did it. What are you doing? AD-9 is done now. Everything I have has gone into this one syringe. There's no mistaking it this time. Here's the proof. I'm going to show you once and for all. I'll prove that my miracle drug is a reality! How many people has your miracle killed? People. People? But it'll save millions, maybe tens of millions across the world. That's why you thought it was okay to murder an innocent woman? Huh? Is that why you stabbed her to death and burned the evidence? Okabo-kun took the fall for all of it. You sent the good man to die! I never wanted to kill anyone. But it had to happen for 89. It was the only way to save all of them! The toxin is irremovable. Use of 89 will always result in death. Shono-kun told me as much. Countless human experiments led him to that conclusion. In other words, AD-9's development has failed. But Shonokun didn't want to admit that. He couldn't say that it was over, that he had killed several people, that it was all for naught. And when exactly did Shono-san tell you all this? Only the other day. It was after hearing that, that I decided to testify in this trial. Save the world. That's your bullshit excuse, huh? I don't buy it. The reason you murdered Emi-chan was so you could save your own skin. If you really cared about helping people, you would have left your research to someone else instead of resorting to murder. But 89 is my drug. I'm the only one who could have finished it. And now I'll finally prove it. Prove that all my research was worth the effort. Prove that I was right to do what I did. Wait! 
For the longest time, my mother cared for both of my dementia-ridden grandparents. Once the disease had finally mercifully taken them, my mother died too. So you see, Alzheimer's has taken many loved ones away, even from me. <clears throat> But now, it won't be taking anyone else, ever again. My entire career as a researcher, all the time I spent developing AD9, every single minute of it has led to this moment. But I... Uh... But why? <laughs> so that's why... I finally understand. <laughs> when a patient is injected with AD9, they experience intense pain localized to the head, and their eyes become filled with a dark blue pigment. In the end, it's a gruesome death. As for the eyes, the toxins present in AD9 are what turns them blue. Shonokun admitted as much. Had that been noticed, it would have been clear proof of the experiments. And hence, every single corpse discovered in Kamarocho was found with the eyes removed. Shonokun disposed of them, all in an effort to hide the horrible truth of his failure. I can't thank you enough, Yagami-sensei. Next week, huh? That's soon. It'll be nice to be out after all these years. The, uh, the retrial for Emmy's case is coming up. Oh, well, that'll be more of a formality than anything. And don't worry. Nobody believes you killed Emmy-chan anymore. Right. <laughs> You're already taking off? Actually, uh... I brought someone else who wants to talk to you today. Huh? Fumia... Kung... You can take it from here. You're welcome to stick around, you know? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thanks for this. Yagami-san. So Shono and Kuroiwa are both dead, huh? And Nijinose and Morita are behind bars. Thanks to Yagami's agency, yes. Things may be somewhat hectic from now on, though. The health ministry is in turmoil, as is the ADDC. Yes. The center will likely be shut down. In the end, I suppose things worked out for Kajihira. That's unacceptable. 
Well, you're in luck, Saurikun. Sounds like they're investigating his collusion with Minister Kazumi. The police are already on the case. Everyone tries, but you can't escape the law. I suppose all bad deeds will come to light eventually. Yeah, you got that right. Oh, and speaking of... Yes? I'm no senile old fool. Your little fling is clear as day. Huh? I'll have none of that in my office, is that clear? Oh. <laughs> I had no idea, sir. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> well, you kids are all the same. Never listen to an old fart like me. Though it's not like we're any better, huh? <laughs> Always ignoring our elders. Right? Old friend. You know, I really wouldn't mind you going back. I mean, back to being an attorney again. It's not like we got work coming in. Maybe I could find a job at another agency or something. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not gonna abandon our business like that, man. But this is your chance to be an upstanding citizen again. Come on, man. You know how much of a gaping shithole this city is. Only a dumbass would be a detective here. Well, thank you very much. Kaito sounds right, though, you know? I mean, just think about it. People would line up just to have you represent them. <sighs> it shouldn't even be a question. You think so? Of course I think so. <laughs> Gendo Sensei would love to have you back at his office. And, um, I'm sure Matsugane-san would agree with him. Yep. She's right, man. Everything's led up to this point. It's like your story circling back around. And there's this fancy French word. Uh, starts with a D. This is your... Your denouement? That's it! Would you two give it a rest? Huh? Uh, I quit. I'm not a lawyer anymore. I'm a detective. But funny enough, if I hadn't left Gendas, I never would have proven Okobo-kun innocent. Well, yes, I suppose that's true. Pretty damn ironic. It's been three years now since I abandoned the truth and left my job as a lawyer. But it turned out that decision led me straight to the truth I tried to run away from. Guess it goes to show, you never know where your choices will take you. It's destiny. That's what you guys were saying just now, right? So, no matter what decisions you might make, what comes after matters most. The real important takeaway from all this is to never give up. I guess. By the way... Hmm? What is it? I was just thinking about how I looked in that suit. I didn't really pull it off, did I? <sighs> yeah, I knew it. That settles it. I'm never wearing a suit again. No way, no how. Hey, you know, now that's another plus of staying a detective. Seriously? Hello? Yagami Detective Agency. Huh? Your cat ran away and it still hasn't come home? What do you think this is, lady? A pet shop? Oh yeah? We'll do it. Ask her some more about the cat. But Yagami-kun... Chaco. And she's five? <sighs> Just send us a picture, yeah? All right, time to get some catnip at Don Quixote! Kaito-san. Hmm. This is our first job in a while. Now let's go find that lady's cat.